So here's some things that I have learned as I prepare to smoke my first turkey. First of all, you want to see if it calls to you. Happy Thanksgiving. We are so excited today to be eating Woo! Thanksgiving dinner. Starving. We've got the table all set up. Brandon's sitting down to Let's eat. Let's go. Oh, wait. Did you get the dinner? Food? No, I was just on decor. Oh, I'm on the dinner this year. Guys, we gotta go get the dinner. We gotta go oh, get food. Get Come with us. We're gonna go grocery shop for everything Thanksgiving. Tell you how to host a perfect Thanksgiving and how to set up a beautiful table. We came to Smith's today. That's a little different, kind of fun. They have everything here and right as you walk in, it is ready for Thanksgiving. They've got the tree with turkey basters. <laughs> Combining. We're just looking, we're like, maybe we need a foil thing for our turkey. Cause dad's gonna smoke a turkey this year. It's the first time we were in Costco the other day and I was like, we should look at turkey. He goes, is this the moment? Is this the moment right now? It wasn't then, but it, it is now. But it is now. Should we get one of these? I think we should. Is that gonna fit an 18, 20 pound turkey? Does it say? I hope this is the a medium. medium. Might need a large. All right, I don't know if we need one of these, but they're $1.50 and I. I don't have one. Get so one just in case. One and I've heard of the word brining, so let's get a brining bag. My mom actually was telling me the best way to brine a turkey is in a white five gallon bucket. What? We can grab one of these too. They're only oh, they're five bucks. I'd rather get a bucket. Okay, let's get a bucket. To start off, I've got my grocery list, and a lot of you asked at Costco what app I was using to buy all my groceries. Well, it's called Any List. It has several different lists that you can keep, but this one is my, I was gonna go to Walmart. We chose to go to Smith's. So this is my Smith's list. It has everything I need. And as soon as I find something I need, I just tap it and it takes it off my list. It's very convenient. It's very awesome. We just went through the produce section. There are a lot of things I need, but I want to buy those closer to when I'm hosting Thanksgiving dinner so that they don't go bad. So there's still a few things we need, but we're going to jump right in and get mini marshmallows. One of the family staples that we make in our house, and the recipe is actually on our blog. This is HowWeBingham.com. Frog eye salad. So, oh, I thought that was for yams. You're doing that for frog eye salad. I do need them for yams. Oh my gosh. Double down. Double down on these. So I need pudding for my frog eye salad. But one thing I was gonna tell you guys, you'll notice that I do at this store is I'm gonna buy mostly store brand. This store, Smith's, the store brand is Kroger, Walmart, great value. Kroger is mostly what I'll be buying today. Pineapple tidbits, mandarin oranges. For Thanksgiving, my dad loves jelly cranberry sauce. You did see I bought the one at Costco. So we're gonna have both options. This one I'm gonna buy store brand because I know that he likes this one. Now I need canned sweet potatoes, something I've never actually eaten but my dad loves. I was just asking Brandon, what's the difference between yams and sweet potatoes? Well, a yam says sweet potatoes and syrup. So this is what we're doing. We're out here buying a lot of different things for Thanksgiving dinner and some of the stuff would be on our list and some of the stuff is on the list of the people who are in attendance. And so that's one thing to consider when you're preparing a meal is what are the likes and dislikes of the people who are going to be coming. Yeah. Trying to make sure that everyone has some of their favorites. Mindy's picking out some of her mom's favorites, some of her dad's favorites, some of our favorites, and then you combine it for one amazing Thanksgiving feast. And it should be awesome. I have a holiday punch recipe that's probably one of my favorite recipes I've ever had, and guess where I got it? I ordered Christmas cards one year, and they attached this cute recipe to my Christmas cards. It's been my favorite punch forever. I need pineapple juice, cranberry juice, orange juice. There's so many juices here. like throwing in some of my own tips and tricks that I'm picking up along the way here because you I'm not used to doing the grocery shopping Tell so me your ways. I'll give you two things one if you're gonna go do some like epic grocery shopping for a variety of things that you don't buy all year round don't go to a brand new grocery store you don't know where anything is it's taking it's 10 times as long ever. see what I did also don't choose probably the busiest grocery store on planet earth we can't Wait. even fit in an aisle without 10 other people there's nobody on our aisle there's no one chose this moment to pull the camera out because for the first time there's not seven people around us I'm gonna pick up some butter I always use a lot during the holidays we are baking more we're cooking more so I'm gonna pick up some salted butter and it's actually a really good deal if you buy 10 you save five bucks makes it 250 for a box which is a really good deal so I might stock up on a little bit of butter and freeze some of it that's the question though will it freeze I think it will freeze do you guys know if it freezes One of our very favorite things, and this might be inappropriate, but we call them butt rolls in our family. On Thanksgiving, you put two Rhodes rolls in a muffin tin, and it- Kinda looks like a butt. It looks like a bum. But they're but good. anyways, one thing I've learned recently with Rhodes rolls, they're only good if they're fresh. Made them when they've been sitting in the freezer for a while, and they don't really rise, they just stay like little dough balls. I'm buying fresh ones. People always want extras of the rolls, for sure. Always, and for leftovers. It's actually key, guys. Probably even more than the Thanksgiving dinner itself are the leftovers. And the best way so to have leftovers good. for turkey, turkey sandwiches in butt rolls. So bad, you guys. We're in a <laughs> Brand. I'm gonna need some for my frog eye salad. We're gonna need some for pie. There was one other thing that I can't think of all of a sudden, our jello salad. So these are four for five. I'll probably get four of them. 
<laughs> Can I put him in the cart, Hazel? <laughs> so now again, this isn't everything we need. We still need some fresh things, but we're gonna have to wait until just before. We'll come to the store, grab things like celery, parsley, fresh sage. Those are a few of the things I need that are fresh. Whoa. Told you it was busy. <laughs> well, it's just had an accident. All right, all we got left? Turkey. Is it right now? This is the moment. Pressure is real. This is no joke. We are going to pick out the turkey right now. The first turkey I've ever cooked myself. The first time I've ever smoked one, obviously. When you're cooking for somebody else, it's one thing if it's for the family. If it fails, we kind of all laugh it off. When you have guests over, when you have in-laws over, when you have strangers over, you really want it to turn out. You really want it to work out well. So I've created some best practices in picking out the perfect turkey and I'll put them in use right now. So here's some things that I have learned as I prepare to smoke my first turkey. First of all, you wanna see if it calls to you. <laughs> okay, that one is actually not my name. Next thing, you wanna check for hollowness so you can stuff it. Oh, that is rock solid. And then, let's see how soft it is. If you can snuggle with it. Whew, that one's cold, I don't think that's the one. I have no idea what to do. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> my mom says we want an 18 pound turkey. 18 pounds, okay, let's get 18 pounds. Honey, you look on the tag. Oh, <laughs> this one's young though. I kind of wanted a more experienced turkey. These all are young. I don't want a young turkey. That's just I, that's mean. That's just they, awful. I mean, they they're take just them little. At the prime of their life. So this is 17.8 pounds, 17 not big pound. enough. 17 pound. And guys, good news. They're on sale for 67 cents a pound. That's amazing. 13 pound. We're gonna be looking pretty big because so far everyone I've picked up that seems huge is not even at the 18 pound mark. We want 18 this one's to 20 17 pounds. if we want to do 17. Keep an eye on the 17. Oh, he's right there. What the easy? <laughs> one of them said Brandon. <laughs> Hazel. One of them did say Brandon. These all look little. 14. There's a big one hidden 16. down here. All right, we're have a difficult time finding an 18 pound. We wanted the 18 to 20. This is 17.08. I think it's gonna have to modify my recipe a little bit. Gotta shave it down by 1 17th, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah. All right, I see this guy down here. What if he's big? Yeah. 12, 12, 13. No such luck here. We found one that looks big. But, this one looks bigger than all of them. But like the missing right here, what the is that? The weight and the price. So why don't you just hold the two and see which Let's, one's heavier? Okay, hold on, I got it. We could ask this guy to help us. No, hold on, I got it. Okay, so. <laughs> which one's heavier? They're both so light, it's hard to say. I'm gonna drop them for sure. <laughs> what do you think? They're very evenly weighted. This one may be a little heavier. Both of them are getting kind of cold. This is the pasta little mini noodle that you need to I make the guy. Pepe les. I'm gonna buy two because you just never know. So it turns out that the tagless one was the 18 pounder. So we were able to get the 18 pounder. Mom, what are you doing? Here's a little tip when you're putting your food on the belt. I always put all my cold food together so it can keep each other cold rather than being all mixed up, it just all stays cold. Honey, we don't have Gary. Get Gary. Is Gary now the turkey's name? Yeah. Goblin Gary, I like it. Here you go, gobble, gobble, Gary. Gary, Gary you 18 pound beast. <laughs> So we are rushing out of the store right now. We gotta go home and get the kids, get this stuff into the freezer, refrigerator. We're gonna divide up. Mom's gonna go and put things away. I'm gonna go pick up the kids from school and then we're gonna show you how to put on the perfect Thanksgiving feast with mom's amazing table decor, how to get everything ready and prepared. Now I will say this, you guys, I talked a lot about the turkey, the pressure. Just so you guys know, there is a backup turkey being made. Mindy's parents are actually making a turkey at home and bringing it over and they're also bringing in the ham. That's why you didn't see us pick up ham today because we're gonna go over the ham so we can have the traditional ham and turkey. And in case mine fails miserably, we got a backup. We just got home and I just laid out a few things. Well, I laid out everything we got for our Thanksgiving dinner. This is not a complete Thanksgiving dinner. We are missing the mashed potatoes. We are missing the ham and the green bean casserole, which my brother and my mom and dad are bringing. This is a good start to everything we have. I think I explained to you almost everything we bought, but one of our staples are this. It's frog eye salad. You can find the recipe on our blog. Another one I'm pretty sure I have is our holiday punch. It is also on the blog. Check out our blog. This is how we bingham Uh Guys, look what I found that Brandon snuck in there. Another thing I was gonna tell you that's really fun for the holidays are these creamers. This is super good. Great in like a milk steamer or hot chocolate. Pumpkin spice hot chocolate is the best. That was one fun thing I didn't talk to you guys about that I love to buy. Here's everything. We're gonna have jello salad. We're gonna have stuffing. I bought this, but I am gonna be making homemade stuffing. We have all of the makings for a delicious Thanksgiving dinner. Let's talk about this table. We've got all the food bought, but I'm kind of stressed about the table. So let me tell you, this can be super simple or this can be super fancy and cost you a ton of money. If you wanna do fancy, go fancy. 
If you want to do simple, go simple. Whatever you do, it's going to be beautiful. So let me tell you what I did. And I feel like it's early enough that I'm telling you this information that you could go find what you're still wanting to look for. I know this is very early, but after Thanksgiving is not helpful to you. Here's what I did. Let's start with this place setting right here. Okay. This is our beautiful place setting. My mom actually gave me these really cute placemats. They're gold and silver. They're from Ross. Very inexpensive. I bought these on Amazon for these really cute gold chargers. I'm just using my regular dishes. You just use whatever dish you have and it will be beautiful. I bought these really cute napkins. They again have gold and silver in them. I bought these just barely at home goods for like six dollars for six of them. Such a good deal. These are you guys might laugh at. Try not to. These are really really pretty wine goblets. I found these at Dollar Tree. I paid one dollar for each of those. This makes me so sad. My really pretty cups that I had from when we first got married. I was missing several of them because they broke here and there. So I had like three of one and five of another. So I just went and bought new small glasses. I think these are technically a handheld wine glass. I think I bought these for like 10 or $12 at Home Goods. No, I bought these at TJ Maxx. This can be done very affordable, you guys. I grabbed pumpkins from throughout the house. I had this one and I had that one. This one right here, I just barely found at Home Goods. Guess what? On clearance for $6. Super affordable. This little guy also found on clearance there. $7. The rest of it, I had. I just made it look pretty. It's all in how you present it. I had these cute little things. Just threw something small on their plate just to give it a little bit extra. This can be very, very, very simple. Looks fancy. But I will tell you, this took me all of like 20 minutes to set up. Very easy. We set up our mock Thanksgiving. I'm actually just going to go put it away now. But I wanted to show you guys how simple and pretty Thanksgiving can be. And it doesn't have to be crazy stressful. The stressful part is making sure everything is finished on time. Dealing with family. In fact, I asked a lot of you on Mindy's Best, what are some stresses for you around Thanksgiving and holiday time? A lot of you said family. Family can be very stressful around Thanksgiving. I totally get that. Since I've already done all of this, I'm going to make up a blog post of how to like ease into the holidays and make it enjoyable because I feel like it can be miserable, but I think it's all kind of on how we look at it and choices that we make ourselves. You guys will have to check the blog in a few days. I'm going to get that up for you. Here's our beautiful tablescape. Very simple. Looks pretty. Food's bought. We just need Thanksgiving to come. There it is. I officially can't wait to eat Thanksgiving dinner. Seriously. And we got to wait a little bit. We are doing this before Thanksgiving with Mindy's family. We are doing it the Sunday before Thanksgiving because we have special plans on Thanksgiving day that we will let you in on. Guys, this is going to be a too. unique Thanksgiving that we've never done before. So you got to come back and check that out. We've literally never done it like this, but we are incredibly excited. It's going to be awesome. Some fun shopping. Wish me luck. Smash the like so that I can maybe smoke that turkey. It's and some of you want to eat mine and not the backup turkey. We'll <laughs> if see. If not, my mom's will be. Yeah, we got a backup just in case. Table setting, as always, amazing, spot on. Check out the blog. This is how we bingham.com for some tips, tricks on how to host the perfect Thanksgiving dinner, courtesy of Mindy. I don't know that it'll be perfect, but we're going to try. It's going to be good. We love you guys. Make sure you come back tomorrow and every day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, -bye everybody. What's the easy? He's one of them said Brandon. <laughs> <laughs>